Hey folks, welcome back to Rugby Center. This is Chris here at Segra Field in Leesburg, Virginia, where Old Glory DC reign triumphant tonight. 36 to 20 over Rugby ATL. Jack Iskar, hometown product from DC area. Jack, congratulations, what a game. Yeah, thank you very much. It was pretty back and forth, really exciting game. I'm sure the fans had a great time because, man, at times it, I, was, I was enjoying watching it, so. Well, I'd say I've been coming to games since the exhibition season for Old Glory DC, and I have to say this crowd tonight was probably one of the most raucous ones I've ever seen. They yeah. got riled up, let's make some noise, they made noise. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty surreal. I mean, even coming off the field was probably where I noticed it the most, like looking up into the stands, walking off the field, I was, wow. You know, it was pretty pretty impressive and definitely, uh, definitely heard them throughout the whole game, so. Yeah, it was awesome. So how was it in the scrums in there? It looked a little bit um, pretty good. Yeah, I think, um, you know, look, full credit to, to ATL. They're, they have a really impressive um, forward pack and front row, and they, uh, they bring it to a lot of teams at scrum time. And so, um, you know, we were a bit under the pump when we went down a man and we lost a hooker, and um, I was really proud of how we battled back from that and were able to gain some ascendancy. And then I think probably later in the game, got a bit complacent, got a bit lazy, and um, maybe took our foot off the gas a little bit. But it's a really good test against them because, like I said, they, they really give it to teams week in and week out in the scrum. And so some, a really good um, you know, test for us to, to see how we go against them preparing for, uh, preparing for New York. Well, you guys have had, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's a rivalry with Rugby ATL, but it seems like one. I mean, when they come to town or you guys go down there, they, people just play all out. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that's the brand of rugby that they play, and they do it really well, and um, it's it's kind of become their, a bit of their identity is that they're big, brash, you know, they very physical, and, um, you know, they, they bring the challenge in that, in that aspect of the game. But, um, yeah, it's kind of, you know, get bullied or sort of back up and, and, and give it back to them, and so uh, I think that probably leads to a bit of a physical physical altercation out there so yeah well, I got a little chippy a couple times out there tonight yeah you know I think uh it's part of the game and I think um you know I'm glad nothing spilled over no no it wasn't silly. that serious yeah. I, I think just two teams that really take their game seriously and we're competing very hard out there yeah yeah so the Red ATL team their record doesn't look so great this year but this team is much better than that. they've had a lot of injuries and you can see it tonight that they, they bring the heart just like you guys do a hundred percent I mean they've got guys throughout the team that are really impressive and have you know, been in form all year, um, and that's outside of sort of their traditional style of rugby. They've really expanded and um, shown that they can play fast, play wide, and, and they've scored some incredible tries. And yeah, a hundred percent. I think we've been on, we've been in that scenario as as a team, being on the you know the wrong side of a record, but really playing some good rugby. And I think you know. I'm sure they'll recover, and it's just a tough, tough year, but they've played some great rugby. The old glory this season uh, has been near the top of the Eastern Conference. You know, of course, the Free Jacks kind of run away with things, but you guys have been up there in second place a good part of the season or around that spot. And with tonight's victory, depending on the outcome of tomorrow's game, you could find up to find yourself in the playoffs. Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, we, we haven't made it easy on ourselves. I think at, at points in the year we've, given, we've, we've kind of lost those opportunities to really gain more ascendancy in the standings, but... The reality is we're happy where we're at, and um, I think we're really just, you know, looking to review this game and go forward. I think the reality of this next week is that we, we play New York regardless. Where, whether it's home or away, we have to play New York, and that's what we're excited for. We can't wait. So, Jack, you probably get asked this question all the time because people are always talking about Jack Escaro, the D.C. hometown product on the team here. So what's it like for you, a chance to play professional rugby and, and, and here in D.C.? Yeah, it's pretty, like, it's about as cool as, as you'd expect it to be. I mean, it's, I always say that it's kind of hard to say it was like a dream of mine because it didn't exist, um, you know, and I think. It wasn't there when you were Yeah, and, and, and in a way, it's almost cooler to, to know that, you know, hopefully somebody can, somebody growing up now is going to, you know, be able to have that as a dream. I could be Jack. It, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Or little, Danny. Hope, yeah, <laughs> give him somebody more, a little more exciting than me. But I think uh, as a whole, it's a dream come true, and that's credit to Paul and, and Chris and the owners that kind of, you know, literally and figuratively put them put their money where their mouth is and, and stepped up to the plate and, and decided to make this become a reality. And um, it's not something that's lost on me any at any point. Well, it's great. Sounds like you're really appreciative of it appreciative of the opportunity. It's awesome to hear. Jack Escarlo, it's a pleasure to chat with you. Good luck. Uh, thank, thank you very you for much. Your time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you.